Okay, hi. Today I'm going to be talking about the headphone control adapter for um, Griffin Technology. Uh, this is made for the iPod and iPhones, but um, this basically just lets you control your your iPod with this adapter. Okay, let me show you how this works. Let me take it out of the box first. Okay, so inside the box you'll find okay a Griffin sticker, uh, instruction manual, and just basic controls on how to use this thing, and the jet, or the adapter itself. Okay, let me take that out. Um, okay, so this part, this is the controller part. This basically has three buttons: top, middle, and bottom. Okay, the top and bottom are volume control, up and down. Of course, you just increase or decrease volume. And the middle button is actually where most of the controls will be done on this device. Okay, so look at the other side now. This side is just a standard 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Okay, so what you need to do is just plug or take this end and plug it into the audio jack on top of your iPhone or iPod. Okay, once you have that connected, uh, first I'm going to show you how to connect it with a headphone. So right here I have a set of just like your regular earbuds. I'm going to take that and plug it into the other end of the adapter. Okay, so once I do that, let me show you how things work. Okay, so let me zoom in for you. Okay, so take a look at the, just pay attention to my iPod, like the, um, right here, the play. Alright, so in order to use this, all you have to do is push the middle button once, and you see the play button just changed to pause. I'll just do it again. Uh, that's basically to start and stop it, so if I click it, it'll stop. If I click it again, it'll play. Okay, so that's the basic start and stop commands. Um, to switch to the next track, or to, yeah, the next track, just click twice on the button and it will automatically scan to the next one. Okay, uh, to go backwards, you click it three times and it will take you back one track, like that. Okay, so one click to stop, one click to start, two clicks to go forward three clicks to go back okay pretty simple um, volume control of course up and down see the bar moving right here but um, another thing you can do is uh, activate voice command since this is uh, you know you, you're, you have your headphones on if you're in the car or whatever you need to call someone just go ahead and hold this middle button just hold it until voice activation starts once it's started just say whatever command you want. Uh, since I'm not going to do that, just cancel it for you. Uh, another way to use this one, uh, this device, is with a, uh, like right here I have a portable uh, speaker system and I have an auxiliary cable stuck on the back, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and remove the headphones. Take this auxiliary cable, plug it into your adapter and plug the adapter into your iPhone again, all right? And now, the same, same commands go for anything else. This is just basically how you operate this. So, I push once. The track should play. Let me turn this on real quick. Okay, so you hear the music going. All I need to do is one click, stop the music. One click, start it. I'll go next track, two clicks. This next track and then go back. I want to go back to the last track. Three clicks. Oops, there you go. And it's back to the last track. So this uh, this controller adapter is available at handheldidoms.com. Thank you for watching.